everybody welcome back to another edition of the ecostructure automation expert training i'm your host leandro mada and in this video what we're going to see is how we can create a solution for our controller or controllers that we have so let's go to the presentation so creating a solution is quite simple but there are a few things that we need to know so once we open this ecostructure automation expert we just need to go to new in order to create a new application in case we have a previous application or something we should be able to see recent or just browse okay as you can see over here i have recent in open and i have this one i was testing and this one is the final uh, project that we need to do okay so let's continue with the slides so we just need to go to new in order to open the interface to generate the uh, the solution as soon as we open this we should be able to see this this software give us like a template of libraries already uh, added into our solution so we don't need to add it later but in our case as it's the first time probably it's going to be good to just start with the basic and then if we need something we just add it okay so also you know how to add the library so the full okay has everything and then the starter kit is just the minimum amount for us okay then here in the bottom we should be able to see the name which is the name of our solution that we want to give okay so this is going to be inputted over here okay and this is the part where we need to save the information so let's start by doing that so here just new just wait for it to load and hopefully it's going to load in this just wait for it uh, let me just try to close okay different stuff so this is the solution view the template that we have i'm going to select only the starter kit and for windows so starter kit here let's try to use a uh, training uh, sorting line which is the thing that we are going to program okay and create i'm going to use the default folder as soon as we create this we should be able to see uh, some pre-configuration for our platform that I'm going to show you here. Oh, it just appeared. So, no problem. So, these are the steps in order to make the configuration of our solution. Here is something important, okay, which is the users that we can add. And this is a very important point because these are the credentials that we can set on the program on the project on the solution that will be transferred to the plc okay and also this credential are the one that we can use in order to simulate the hmi as we're going to see later so in here i'm going to use administrator okay as a user as soon as you enter that name or the name that you want you should be able to enter a password so i'm going to use administrator one and the asterisk uh, two, administrator and the multiplication icon okay administrator one okay so i follow more or less the same password that we use for another software machine expert the default one so i'm going to use the same administrator and you need to fill this requirement over here okay about the uppercase lowercase and symbol so i already created that one here is to change the password in case you want to change it okay and this one we're going to cover that later we'll just leave it in there so we just proceed with next here is the information of the company you can add it no problem uh this one i don't know why they add it but uh should be able to do whatever thing that we want okay and then 
on the web page and next one or the whatever you want this part is quite easy so here something important you need to know so we have the possibility to not select anything at all here but uh, in our case let's just select one resolution that's could be that would be the dimension that we want to use for our simulator hmi for example so um let's try to use this one as soon as you select something here you should be able to see some configurations these configurations are the one that we're going to see later when we create our design for the hmi so i'm going to leave it like that so i can show you later how we can change this and here just next here is the low that our um the sign of the HMI will have. So here you can change and use something, another icon. And I'm going to show you how we can do this. Let me just. So if we just click over here, we should be able to find the icon that we want. So I have this one. And it will change the default icon that we have for Schneider for the one that we want. So then you just need to finish. And then the solution will start and it will be created. So just wait for it. Okay, good. So this is the solution. It has been created. So as you can see over here, just just to show you this part. Here is the icon that I have already selected. And then we should be able to see more details of this. So just an overview. So let's take a look on the presentation i don't want to miss something important here okay and i want to go ahead with something so uh, we have already opened this project create a new solution we have already selected starter kit okay for windows hmi we have well you need to name this i have already put a different name but you can do whatever you want it here doesn't matter and then assign the location after we have done this okay this is just as I just did okay so it's going to be much easier or at least it's easier for me rather than using the installer and installer one uh, for the default okay so you can use this one this part we have already done we have already changed this part over here okay and we change this okay which is good so so far so good this is how we can uh make the process so well this part is done complete information the company information ready to you so size resolution change the level schneider so this is quite easy we're going to see later what do we have in here there is a lot of information don't be scared it's much easier than what you think it is so um this is it how we can create a solution Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.